If you guys need to gear up for any of the new Grand Theft Auto Online DLC content, check out G2A with a link in the description and use code BOSS for an extra discount. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the winner, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some really cool hidden details, secret features, tips, tricks, and a whole lot more that you can use with the brand new DLC content that has been added in Grand Theft Auto Online. That's right, so today is Tuesday, and that is the start of a brand new event week and the addition of new DLC content content into the game. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be going over all the details of what's happening this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, but also some cool things you might not have known about some of the new content that has been added into the game. So let's start with that brand new content, and that is the Yuga Classic Van. Now, I'll have my full review out later, but I just wanted to give you guys some kind of secret insider things you might not have known about this vehicle. And the first thing that's actually really cool has to do with one of the liveries. That's one of the strong suits of this car, which again, I'll talk about a little bit later. And one of the liveries is called Surf's Up. And you might recognize this, and I know I immediately did when I saw it in the game, because this is actually a parody and a model and an Easter egg of the mystery machine from the Scooby-Doo cartoons and movies. So you guys might not have been born in that time when it was cool to watch Scooby-Doo, but when I was growing up, that was like the cool thing to do. You watch Scooby-Doo, it was awesome. It was basically like five characters and their dog solving mysteries in this van that looks exactly like the livery we have right now. And their van was called the mystery machine. It had this like kind of surf kind of feel to it in blue and green and it had orange wheels which was super funny and you can actually recreate this van in game now with this surfs up livery so that's kind of a cool secret detail and easter egg that you might not have known about right there but this also kind of leads us to another problem but i do have another solution for you guys also so you'll notice that with many of the liveries on this you know vehicle there's going to be colors that rockstar won't allow you to match which I think is really unfortunate and I think is very, very dumb that they have, you know, livery options that we can't recreate with a color in game. I think that's a little bogus and it's especially prevalent on the surfs up livery where if you try to match either the green or the blue, you're going to notice that that simply isn't possible. You don't have the ability to match the green or the blue from the surfs up livery. It just doesn't exist with any of the color palette options in game. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's kind of unfortunate. And if you're really OCD like me, that would bother you a lot. However, luckily, what you can do to get around all of these issues for every single livery for the Yuga is actually by setting a crew color to the specific color on the livery. Now, you also might be asking yourself, well, how am I supposed to know what color that is? Well, thankfully, there has been a spreadsheet created. I'm not sure by who. I would love to give them credit here, but I, I, there is no name attached to this, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. But basically, what you want to do is just find the color of what livery you want and then simply just apply it as your crew color. And then once you have it as your crew color, you can add it to the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors to this vehicle if you really want to. So for example, for Surf's Up, there's two colors. There's a blue and the green. So to kind of go for the mystery machine vibe, I made my crew color blue. And you can see here, it looks so much better, which obviously is super awesome. Now those blues match up perfectly, which I really, really like. And then I was able to apply some orange wheels to it as well and I really did complete the mystery machine overall look here but for all the liveries the simple stripe orange retro stripe blue retro stripe black slash red slash red hot summer all of those colors are going to be linked in the description and you can check it out for yourself I'll leave a link to the spreadsheet so this is a great way where you can kind of customize your cars a little bit better and you can stand out from the pack who are probably just going to apply the normal Los Santos custom shop colors on there and the reason I'm kind of mentioning in this video is because I am going to be live streaming later today where we're going to be showing off a lot of this new content and I'm sure you guys can use this simple trick to create some much better looking vehicles than you might have normally been able to just using those colors in the Los Santos custom shop. So that's a super neat trick right there and it works especially well with this brand new Yuga Classic van. So I am so excited for this. I, I, like I said, I thought I was super lame for getting overly hyped for this vehicle, but this is definitely the one that I was way over excited for. Now, moving on to some more secret features and things you might not have known about this van. One that is pretty cool is that this van has a super rare color palette and that is it has a third 
tertiary color. Now, at first, you might not think anything of the third tertiary color because if you leave the van by default, you won't even see that third color option. You have to apply the sun strip and you have to apply the kind of wheel arches onto the car in order to see that effect. And then if you have those two things applied, you can go down to tertiary color and from there you can select a different color and you'll see the upgrades actually take place. So this is a great way to once again make your car as bright as possible or to match it with more colors. You can do a ton of really cool things here and that tertiary color option is going to allow for some super neat designs right here. So the reason I bring this up is because some people might not have known what the tertiary options did, especially if you didn't have any of the upgrades on there. So that is certainly something to keep in mind. Up next, another thing you might not have known about is on the back, you can actually add a spare tire, which is pretty cool. It gives it a nice look, but it actually adds traction to the vehicle as well. So not that I recommend you take this vehicle racing, which again, we'll touch on a little bit later, but if you do really want to, add this spare tire on the back it will give you an increased traction which is weird because typically that's only meant for the spoilers we saw that on the esky bike where it got increased traction by adding something or taking something away off the front well in this case on the back if you add that spare tire you're going to get a nice traction bonus so again if you want to get the max performance out of your car even though you may not love the tire look on the back you might want to go for it and finally last but not least as far as kind of secret things about this vehicle go i don't know if this is a mistake but on the in-game website on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site where you buy this vehicle, it says Vapid Yuga Classic. However, when you bring it into the Los Santos Custom Shop, it says Bravado Yugo Classic. Now, I'm assuming Bravado is the correct one because on the Newswire, that's what Rockstar calls it. So I'm assuming that was a tiny typo there. I'm not sure how Rockstar could ultimately fix that, but I'm sure that's not going to really bother really any of us. But I'm sure some of you guys might have saw that and it might have bothered you a little bit. But it is supposed to be Bravado, not Vapid. So Vapid is the typo. Bravado is the correct uh, username there. So now let's move on to what's going on on the news wire because there is some pretty cool things and some bonuses that we need to talk about as well. The first other new addition into the game is the Kill Quota Adversary Mode. So Kill Quota is the newest team-based adversary mode in Grand Theft Auto Online. And another kind of secret thing you might not have known is that Kill Quota is basically gun game from Call of Duty. Essentially, you're going to be psyched through different weapon loadouts where you start with a weapon in order to move on to the next you have to get a bunch of kills with your team and whoever gets to the final weapon loadout at the end ultimately wins the game now there's four weapon loadouts that are pretty cool so it does give you a little bit of variety in terms of each game how they could ultimately go and the host will ultimately choose which of the four weapon loadouts will be used in the lobby prior to starting the match so overall I think it is really really fun uh, I'll I'll have a full video out on that maybe sometime tomorrow talking about uh, this new adversary mode because I'm actually very much enjoying it. Which is surprising because sometimes the adversary modes are definitely a little bit hit or miss. You don't really know what to expect here. And what's also great about Kill Quota is that now through November 28th, which is next Tuesday, it's going to be double money and RP for playing any of the seven new maps, which is insane. There is seven maps that you can take advantage of here, which is pretty awesome. Now, we also need to talk about Rockstar's Thanksgiving bonuses that are going on here. So Rockstar have obviously the Kill Quota bonus for double RP and money on November 2nd through the 28th, but also on Thanksgiving Day only, which is November 24th, they're giving out double GTA money and RP in the game modes every bullet counts, running back, and inch by inch. So I know you guys are probably gonna be spending time with your family, but if you do have some time to slip on Grand Theft Auto Online, you can earn some double money and RP in every bullet counts, running back, and inch by inch, and that is super cool. There's also gonna be some pretty cool Black Friday sales, which are offering 25% off select items in Grand Theft Auto Online now through November 28th. So the vehicles that are 25% off are the Super Velito and the Super Velito Carbon. You've also got 25% off rims, turbo, livery, respray, and engine mods, 25% off biker clothing, not including the deadline outfits and tattoos, and then 25% off these weapons, the compact rifle, the carbine rifle, and and the assault rifle and really last but not least we've got a new premium race which is high flyer which is obviously started today and goes on through november 28th but really that's all the information that i have to talk to you guys about in this video today really some secret features hidden details things you didn't know about the new content the new adversary mode and
and everything that's going on this week in Grand Theft Auto Online as far as the discounts and bonuses that you need to know about. As I mentioned earlier, I will have one more video out later today and then we're going to be doing a super fun Grand Theft Auto Online live stream showing off some of this brand new content. So please do stick around on my channel for that. If you did go on and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With that on the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.